Hello, my name is Pete Gill. And welcome back to another Azure Everyday video. Today I'm going to show you real quickly how to connect your Azure Databricks data to Power BI. So a couple assumptions here is one, you have your Databricks uh, data cluster already up and running. And then two, um, your data has already been through Databricks um, with manipulation and stored as a permanent um, file, whether that be Delta Lake or just permanent storage. So let's get started. So we'll select like the cluster that we have here. I have this dev cluster that I created. Um, and then under advanced options here, you go to JDBC slash ODBC. Um, select. Select this link and put it in using word here. Let's, let's replace this with HTTP, HTTP S and then after the port name uh, forward slash select there from there to SQL, delete it. There's going to be an extra space. So delete that and then from here to here, we delete. And this is this will be the link that you need to put into Power BI. So we'll go to Power BI real quick. We'll get data more <clears throat> Spark. Select Spark Connect <clears throat> Server. We we'll paste in what we just did there. Protocol is HTTP, and we'll use import. Now it's going to ask for a username and pass. The username is always going to be token. And what you need to do for password is you need to generate a token. Um, so up here from your Dataverse environment, upper right account, user settings, generate new token. And what's this for? Just name it new, generate, and then voila, there's um, the token. And then you just place it here. Now, I would save this somewhere so that we can reuse it, or if you want to regenerate a new token each time, you do it this way. Um, so now it should pop up a lot of the data sets that you want. So here I'm just going to click these three, my Delta Lake table that I created, and then I have just two random tables that I created from a blob storage and just a simple CSV import. And then here, you can, you'll see that it's loading those three tables. Uh, important thing is, you know, you need to have a cluster running in order for work, for this to work, otherwise it won't connect. Let's give it a minute. <clears throat> All right, so there you go. Your tables are ready for you to do wonderful things with. So now it's just like just to see. This is just an AdventureWorks data set that I was playing around with. Um, and so yeah, so there you go. So once. So once you're done with this, you can actually publish it to your workspace and then you use the same token, um, username and pass that we did here to create, um, to use it for your credentials for it to refresh. All right, thank you, have a good day.